I think, you know, when we, when we start people on um, testosterone or estrogen, uh, you know, we, we try to be as clear as we can um, about the stuff that's going to be permanent and the stuff that's, that's going to go backwards. So if you start on testosterone, your voice is going to change. That's permanent, but you might get more muscly, but then that's not permanent if you were to stop. Um, I think the thing you have to remember about kids is that we're often explaining these sorts of things to people who haven't even had biology in high school yet. And, and, um, uh, and I know I've, I've heard others in, in this kind of a, in this kind of a setting say, well, we think adults are like really slick biologically. In fact, lots of people have very little medical understanding of stuff like that. We just put medical professionals and mental health professionals take for granted. So I think we have to be, um, more concrete than we think we need to be. Um, the, uh, short of surgical stuff, you know, I think, I think, um, uh, and the permanent physical changes that happen with testosterone or estrogen, um, you know, you might get some breast development that maybe you would later regret. Uh, but I think um, it's reasonably safe to to be on hormone X for a while and then stop and go back to your to your natal hormones, provided you haven't had some sort of a gonadectomy. Then, as Cecile mentioned, that that's a that's a different issue if you're hormone less. Um, so um, I, I think that is important. Um, for, for people to know. And I think we also like just in general, you know, people want this, but they don't want this, but they want this, but they don't want this from a hormone. And I'm like, well, you know, you might not be binary, but hormones are binary. And so, you know, you can't get a deeper voice without probably a bit of a beard. It doesn't work that way. Or you can't, um, you can't, uh, you know, get estrogen to feel more feminine without some breast development. It, that doesn't, that doesn't work very well. And there are different ways of trying to get around some of these things, but in general, um, you know, when you give a hormone, it's going to do what hormones do. It's going to act on a receptor. The receptors are everywhere and you're going to get some sort of a physiologic effect. And it's hard to kind of pick and choose the effects that you want. And, and I know that that's, um, I know that that's, uh, like something that kids wouldn't, wouldn't normally understand because they haven't had biology yet, but I think a lot of adults as well are hoping to be able to get X without getting Y and that's not always possible.